the division vice president of sales uh, to have a uh, give you a short welcome, say a few words about what they're trying to do. And, and he's been with ADP for 15 years. He's over 300 sales associates and 45 leaders. Uh, they're in the process of selling over $38 million this year, an average of about $2,000 per deal. So you guys have something to look forward to. I tell you, thank you very much. Uh, this is a great honor for uh, ADP to have a chance to sponsor something like this. But before I uh, get started with that, I wanted to personally apologize uh, for something that happened this morning. In 15 years of being in sales, uh, there's really four things that bother me. One of them is when I get interrupted. Number two is when I actually see people check their email in the middle of my presentation. Number three is when they actually answer the phone. And number four is when they don't sign the dotted line. And Brant and I today as a buyers did all four in 17 minutes. So I wanted to personally apologize uh, to those people for that. Um, on a serious note, as we move into what it means for us to sponsor something like this, and when you look at the NCSC, you really think about what the mission is. And when you think about the mission, it's about promoting a professional sales environment. It's about allowing all of you the opportunity to share best practices, to see different sales techniques. It's about creating sponsorships so that the funding can be in place for events like this to take place. It's also really about getting you an opportunity to truly say you're the best of the best and be able to build a commercial about things you've already done that give you a differential advantage in the marketplace. When you think about ADP, you know, Colin Powell once said, give me good people and it doesn't matter what organization you give me, good things will happen. And if you give me bad people, it doesn't matter what organization you give me, bad things will happen. And over the last four days, I was here for two of them, I will tell you there's a lot of really good people sitting in this room. And whether you are a volunteer, or whether you're a professor, or whether you're a student, or whether you're an alternate that was here for the career fair, or whether you're a sponsor, um, it was great to interact with all of you on different phases. And I know the group of ADP, uh, people not only from staffing, uh, but from our local sales offices, are really, really excited about being a part of this overall uh, event. When you think about why also, many don't know this, but our associates that we hire at ADP, that actually have been through uh, this particular uh, conference, we actually have a 50% higher ramp up on those associates, which means they literally produce 50% higher in the first year. 35% less turnover because you've already been through and you've had an opportunity to see what this job is truly like. Besides lower recruiting costs and besides a lot of other things that go with it, just your resilience for being here, your competitiveness to truly compete, and your overall initiative to say it's dumb, but really not to do anything other than show up and compete and do the best that you can possibly do, puts all of you in a position where I'm sure every sponsor in here will be proud to find an, find an opportunity for each and every one of you. When you think about the product, I'm gonna make it relatively quick. Um, we're really excited about the product. The product is called Run. Um, the bottom line is this, as you move into your sales environment, you'll find really three things matter. A, what is your opportunity? B, what is your ability? And C, how hard are you willing to work? And when you find a company that has a good opportunity, and you find a way to continue to do the things you've done like this weekend to truly make yourself better, and you wake up and say you're gonna outwork everyone, you're guaranteed to be successful. And the one thing I'll give you about the product itself is the product does a few things. The product helps small businesses improve cash flow. It helps attract and retain quality talent. And it also helps with risk and compliance. It's just probably fully rolled uh, the enhancements over about a two year period. We have over 100,000 people, um, companies, excuse me, on that individual product. And when you think about a small business today, they're either in startup, they're in survival, they're in takeoff or success. And you're gonna be able to embrace the feature and functionality, the innovation and technology that this product has to truly help small businesses. No matter what you do in your career, you can always ask for a referral, you can always ask for the business, as long as you passionately believe that you're helping someone. As I close this thing out, um, this could be a lot of emotion in this room right now. Some of you are excited that you won, some of you are disappointed that you didn't, some of you are thinking about, do I come back next year? Some of the professors might be thinking, could I have prepared better? Maybe the sponsors are thinking, I should have had a fancier booth. No matter what it actually is, if you're one of the sales folks here, in my 15 years, I can guarantee you five things. And this is not ADP related, this is sales related. Number one, all of you have chosen a profession that truly will allow you to be compensated 
for the work you put in. And if you don't care about money, I question whether you should evaluate the profession you're going into. Because this profession will allow you to make endless amounts of money. The second thing is career path. From the day you start in whatever job you start in, really start to think about the next job. Start to dress as if you have the next job. Brand, there's your plug. And start to really think about what it is you want to do two layers above you. Because when you're in a sales career, or if one of you are one of the marketing people, which 70% of them go into sales also, um, you're going to be in a position where the opportunities to advance within that company, no matter who you choose, is going to be amazing. The third thing is, the only people that don't like trips and incentives are the people that don't qualify for them. So ultimately figure out, day one, how do you qualify for as many trips and incentives and realize that if you put your mind to it and you focus on it, you'll find the opportunity to go and achieve those things. The last thing I'll tell you is without stereotyping, there's a lot of type A personalities that happen to be in sales and happen to be successful. I would encourage you to start to utilize the resources and tools in whatever company you're at to start to accumulate wealth for the future so you continue to buy nicer cars and boats as you earn commission checks but you continue to be smart with your money and your overall investments. And the last thing I'll tell you is to have fun. You have an opportunity every single day to go out and do whatever you choose to do, make the best of it, and have a great time. We really appreciate, and I personally want to thank all the ADP support folks that came from all over the place. You guys do a great job. I sit in an office in Alpharetta most of the time and take for granted the quality people that they find. And to all of the folks that you thanked earlier for this event, I cannot tell you how proud we are to have the opportunity to sponsor this thing, hopefully for the next five years, but I believe guaranteed for three. So I'll be back, and uh, thank you very much for all of your time.